all right welcome back to the lovely channel that y'all all know and love all know and love i don't really have much to say let's go ahead and just keep trying to grow the channel i am streaming almost every single day on twitch so be sure to check that out i'm trying to stream around seven o'clock that seems like a good sweet spot for me you know it gives me be able to stream until probably about nine everybody off work we just vibing we just vibing we just vibing we just vibing yeah i was on i was on x defiant run a couple clips of that There you go. There you Next. go. Fucking hit marker. Are you queefing me right now, homie? There you go. Hold on. You feel me? So we were on that and you know, we're just, just listening, jamming out the music. <laughs> and all that good stuff. So be sure to pop out at the Twitch, show your face, show your face, and be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video today. Today we are looking at life on Bissonnette, Houston's infamous red light district. We finna find out what it's all about. Hold on, don't get me rapping, don't get me rapping, don't get me rapping. Close running with the ops. Not a op. A, a dumb motherfucker that want to get shot up. Bissonette track. Bissonette track. Bissonette. Okay, Western. it is Bissonette. Houston's infamous Bissonette track. We've heard about the Bissonette track far too often. We on Bissonette, as y'all can see. Oh, that nigga deep ass voice. We on Bissonette, as you can see. Hold on. Hold on. I kind of killed that, though. I kind of killed that, though. I kind of killed that, though. Let me say it again. What do you say? Say it again. We've heard about the Bissonette track far too often. We on Bissonette, as y'all can see. We on Bissonette, as y'all can see. What y'all think? Rick Ross? Oh, hold on. He think I'm big me. Hallelujah. Whipping work. I do not know the lyric. Uh -huh. Welcome to A Leaf in Houston, Texas, <laughs> home of Bissonette Street, the most notorious red light district in the South. This area has become famous for rampant prostitution and human trafficking. Ooh. So famous that a movie was created recounting a woman's experience living there. Just weeks wow. after filming this video, Bissonette Street was shut down from 10 p.m. until 5 a.m. in an effort to stop illegal activity. He and his team Damn. are taking a different approach Damn. to tackle the seemingly never ending issue of prostitution on what's known as the Bissonette Track. Now come with me as we meet up with rapper D Flowers, who was born and raised in A Leaf, so we can experience firsthand see i couldn't do that because i have locks right i got dread locks so me taking my black ass over there and i'm running with another black nigga, he tried to take me through the hood and show me all this stuff somebody gonna think i'm part of them now they might think that old dude right here i cannot remember his name if they took brandon right here and you know put him in the same sitch he cooling they're like oh he just getting an interview but he might be an eye me is not as skeptical they just you know it's that quick and simple. Straight to the point, boom, shot, dead. Life on Bissonette. Never leave broke. Never leave broke. Bro, oh, that intro, that intro's hard, bro. I'd run an intro if somebody made me one. If somebody made me like a hard intro, I, oh God, I'd run it, I'd run it. Now if you suck, I'm gonna let you know I don't like you guys, we're pulling up on a rapper named D Flowers. We're on D Flowers, right now, D a Flowers. Area. Show you guys what this place is like. Trying to stay first time with the camera, I gotta get better with that. Good to meet you, my Hell yeah. D Flowers as we speak. Is this a, is this a uh, I can't say, apparently you can't say the M word anymore. That's offensive. Don't know why. Don't know why. I don't know. I don't know when that happened. I don't know when they dropped them patch notes, but yeah. As we speak, cars, I ain't got no but that's a, that's a little person. With my boy, Brandon Buckingham. With my Mr. boy. Buckingham himself. So you all on Bissonette, that's this cross street that's, that's running right here. When you go to the side streets off Bissonette, that's when you get into the lifestyle and the culture of Bissonette in itself. You know what I mean? That's the action. You might see a motherfucker fighting. You might see a motherfucker arguing. You might see somebody barbecuing. It just depends. I just see some some, some, some bad <laughs> out there. Excuse my language. You know how that go. A lot of people from around this way either pick up some drugs or pick <laughs> I up I want me a hockey jersey, drugs, bro. I feel like I can pull that off. So what is it about Bissonette that it's makes just, it it's too so damn many hot. Balls? Like everyone knows Bissonette. I honestly, this is one of the biggest prostitution streets in the whole city of Houston. Actually, one of the biggest prostitution savvy streets, the South as a whole. Damn. You want to buy some excuse my language? Everyone knows. Come right. to Bissonette. So let, let me get some terminology right. The blade, right? Is the that blade, what it's called? Exactly. Ah. My boy B Buck, he talking about the blade, and that's exactly what this is. Right now, y'all on the blade. So the lady ain't get, even when it's early, I'm talking about rain, sleet, or snow, you can see a hoe. Excuse <laughs> my language. They are out here in tight, tighty whities and everything. Did he just lick his real voice? 
He just leaked his real voice. He just leaked it. He leaked it. He leaked it. He leaked it. Listen, 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 listen. CEO, excuse my language. They are out here in tight, and tidy. Yeah, nigga, here. nigga, voice went up high like T Pain. Nigga turned that auto tune off. You hear his real voice. I'm telling you, you don't talk like this, bro. I, I really don't feel like D Flot talk like this, bro. I don't feel like it. He just leaked his voice. He seemed like a cool ass dude, though. He seemed like a cool ass dude. Everything you can think of, but you would prefer to come out here around like nighttime if you was personally purchasing some Punani. Quick. <laughs> Vocabulary lesson. The blade is where the prostitutes hang out, the pimp is the boss of the prostitutes, of and a trick or a john is someone who purchases prostitutes. I remember being mm. a little kid in elementary, riding up and down the street with my mom, seeing like older women in tights and panties out here basically while it's hot as hell. We like, ew, how fun is that? Look at her. Yeah, y'all see bitch and then y'all see the <laughs> being sold and y'all see a couple dollars. We see bitch and then we see our aunties and our mamas, you know what I'm saying? Mm, like, damn right. niggas out here, aunties and mamas lived on bitch and that including me. Nigga, I had to see my mama on and off bitch and that when it come mm. to pulling up, when it come to being on foot, we had to figure it out. You start, you start knowing what's going on. When did they record that school, part? Like, damn, that's auntie. Damn, that's my mama on the blade making her money. Yeah. Then by the time you go to high school, start seeing girls that we actually know personally out here. You know yeah, what I mean? That's People wild. that we went to school with. So. Is that like the equivalent of like hopping off the porch for women? Like Exactly. You literally just said it, bro. Like some of these girls. I'm on his voice is cooking me, bro. Women like. Exactly. You literally just said it, bro. Like <laughs> Some of these girls, they haven't experienced no honest way of making money. And when they tried, it wasn't nowhere near what they could make in a few minutes dealing with a stranger. They don't know no other way, you know well, what I mean? Could, you could go work, uh, you know, a 20-hour shift for over a weekend at the Kmart, make the same money you can make in 30. If his pants weren't so damn tight, this fit be hard as hell. I like that shirt. Three minutes, like sucking some dude up. You hear me? And they want to chill. Trust and believe. They would rather fruit snack some dick. <laughs> then, then, then go and wake, sell fruit snacks at Kmart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You trust and believe that yeah, shit. Yeah. That's right. You ready? Yeah, yeah. Let's get it. We finna go to the. He seemed like a cool ass leaf. dude. This jacket say A leaf. What is A leaf? What that mean? Around in the whip right now. We got the tinted windows going. Absolutely. Well, they, say, they say I roll around in a fishbowl. You can't do the That's factory fishbowl, mate. Ready? You can't be a goldfish out here. Like, it's, it's Dap him up. I'm trying to dab you up. Oh, when when they hand out there, you just can't leave me hanging. Oh, sorry. Well, this is one of the most dangerous <laughs> blocks. Like I said, it's a rainy day in the hood right now. Come on, nigga. Come on, come on, pull up right here. Like, I feel like, I feel like he a thug. Like storm, oh right no, though, it's kind of hard to tell because dudes' voices, especially with people with deeper voices, I've noticed because when I do videos, right, I've always been told my whole life I have a deeper voice and I've noticed when I do videos, I try to speak a little louder so it's more entertaining to the ears. It's not like something you just knocked out sleep too you know what i'm saying so i try to raise my voice a little bit but it makes my voice sound like a higher pit this pop your shit this is a vlog about bitch and that this uh, murder block nigga know what it is it's not something on it right it's not something on it slump block this a no nonsense i want bro i want a piece uh uh I, that's an awful lot of cough syrup shirt i don't know why but i like that shit I don't know why, but I like it. I don't like it cross the cock and balls like he got it, but. Southwest, 9700. I'm right there, baby. You know, but like the shirt. I've like been out here since I was, what, nine years old, nigga? I'm 34. You got a PhD in trapping, bro. Yeah, I mean, shit, I came up under the best. What makes missing that, missing that? What's your lane? Getting money, a bunch of fucking money out here. On the other side, they pimping hoes down here. We throwing rocks at cars. We throwing rocks at cars. You know what throwing rocks at cars mean? But this cone here a little bit different from that corner down there. That corner down there, you're gonna see a lot of blue on, you're gonna see a lot of homies that strong woman or female for their money, dealing with the prostitution and all they're that. They're not throwing, th so they really not throwing rocks at cars? I was sending a text message, a text message to the homie. Let me go back, I'm just gonna read, I'm, we're gonna run it back so I can get my, uh, so I can really get my research down on what's going on. I need to, they, they really throwing bunch rocks at cars? Getting money, a bunch of fucking money out here. On the other side, they pimping hoes down here, we throwing rocks at cars. It's on. Rocks at cars. <laughs> you know what throwing rocks at cars mean? But this corner here a little bit different from that corner down there. That corner down there, you gonna see a lot of blue on. You gonna see a lot of homies that strong yeah, woman or female it. for their money, dealing with the prostitution and all that. And you got niggas who gonna talk to a nice for the money like myself, and you got niggas who gonna wish this nice for the money. You see what I'm saying? That means physically. <laughs> Yang yang, I need that. Debo in them. You hear me? Whereas I hear a nigga gonna get it all off his 
fist. You see what I'm saying? Mm. Everything he got it within his hand, that's what's gonna fill his pocket up. You think some of the the pimps on Bissonette like aware okay. of like the internet right. pimp games? I feel like that's a lucrative market. Only fans. I'm really just trying to listen. Girls and stuff, but they don't do any of that. What y'all think, gang? Eh? You got the illegals that ain't going online. They don't speak no English. All they yeah. know is pull up on Bissonette, get them a hoe and go. They keep it simple. <laughs> that, these niggas, these niggas talk so swaggy. Like why they all talk like that? What the hell is this? Like Houston shit? Is that how y'all talk in Houston? Dollar, that's all some niggas talking know. swaggy as hell. It's sad, but it's true, man. Some of the young girls out here, like he say, don't even know English. A lot of them, bro, don't even really just know themselves. They ain't even gathered their personality. They out here 17, 16, 15 years old, man. And that's sad to say because it's pedophilia, but that's what go on out yeah, here on this corner. Why y'all going drive? Go on Google and see how many murders happened at this store just this year. How many you think happened? Just go look. 5, 10, 15? Don't look. Is that at that Is corner? Is that scary at all hanging out in an area where there's so much shooting? Nah, that shit don't scare me. I grew up around this shit. I was in the army six years. I've been in Iraq, Afghanistan. This ain't shit. So nothing scares you? Nah, nothing. What the IRS? They scare you? I, I don't even know what the fuck it is. I ain't fine. This nigga just jumped out that Maserati, man. They don't give a fuck about no IRS. Okay, now, now, a Maserati is a Maserati, I guess, to some people, but not every Maserati is Maserati-ing. There's a Maserati Ghibli. You can get about 2015, 2017. They only 20K. <laughs> they only about 17K. They not like your $100,000 Maserati. Look at how he's stancing on us. He got security guards up there. <laughs> Why he wave like that? Bro, he's posturing on us with a leaf blower. He, he, he fake securing some shit. I don't know what he's doing. They got some mild cop shit going on now. We on he don't, he don't look like he'd stop shit, shit either. They got some Ooh, mild cop shit going on. He does not look like he'd stop a damn think he has a gun he but it just doesn't look intimidating at all he don't look like he's gonna we stop got shit. Block, though, we got one day if you ain't got a girlfriend bro we got one day go mac <laughs> excuse my language <laughs> you don't like rub joints you gotta invite your brody first and foremost i will <laughs> Huh, beat off. Yeah, you give him a, a run for her money. You hear me? She had to change arms. She had been that motherfucker choking, beating the shit out of this hamster. <laughs> you hear me? Now we on the block. Hamster. Hey. You did. I always know this. I don't give a fuck how gangster niggas think they is or how cool niggas think they is. When you out here on the block, there's always one young nigga out of the 10 young niggas that don't need to be out here. How old you here, little brother? It's him. Fly, nigga. Even if you thug and you too fly, nigga. He got that nigga fly. He got on a Bart Simpson tee and some Nike shorts. He got on a Bart Simpson tee and, a, and some Nike shorts and a pair of frames. And I know them bitches prescription. You can tell by the way he got them on. How old you little brother? You too fly, nigga. Even if you thug and you too fly, nigga. You see me? This young nigga don't need to be out here. It's the little <laughs> shit. It's the little <laughs> shit that take. He know what time it is. You got muscle in the hood. He know what time it is. You got hustlers in the hood. You got athletes. And we all wanted to go to the NBA. Ain't that right, Gucci bitch? Bitch, <laughs> <laughs> and that ain't really just all about thugging. Every, every black shit. man has a Look dream about the going to the NBA at least How old y'all live? How old you live, bro? How long y'all been living at least? You from committing, huh? So what's your experience about this shit, my man? Just chilling. Trying to find some money. And how old you is? 14. You need to about 14? Worried about trying to how to find some money, nigga? I was trying to make money and I was spending the money on goddamn PSN cards. Hey ma, can you can you take me to Kroger real quick so I can go buy a, a PSN card? I just saved up 20 bucks. But yeah, I went in there, bought my little my little shit, and I did. Happiest little motherfucker ever in the world, bro. Money, do you hear him? I know what the f going on in there. Yeah, nigga. Niggas been niggas been thugging on this hoe since we was just on guard, nigga. And my first time meeting, bro, we was some hey, young niggas on guard, just hey, coming out to school, nigga. Thugging on the block. Young niggas got horse, man. They ain't about none of that tough man ass shit, you know what I mean? There's always two sides of every coin, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Which one of y'all wanna go to NBA or NFL? That's what I wanna do. Linebacker. Don't get hard, nigga. <laughs> he talking about, hey, K Groove. We in the hood, bro, so our coaches at our school Does were he... selling us fake Jordans. This is what the fuck? That's facts. That's crazy. They're... I swear to God, my best. His basketball coach was selling him fake Jordans? What the hell? I was gonna go to back I was gonna go back and look at the kid and see if he can make it in, in the league. But now I'm listening to my bro. basketball coach at Hollow Middle School. Sold me a fake pair of Jordans. Whether he knew they was real or fake or not, he said he can get them. Let me go and get them, man. They gave me some foo foo fummies. <laughs> Our hood ain't really even 60 years old. Like, you really will never meet a nigga older than 50 saying he from A-Leaf. You feel what I'm saying? Like, all, most of us, bro, our mamas ain't even from really, really from out here. Like, our daddies and mamas from another hood. Like, our hood really uh, a place that adopted all us. You feel me? No, no nigga out here could say they grandpa from 
Hey, Leafs. The young niggas really hmm. don't know how to do nothing but bump their head. Joy roll, bitch, but the money long is six miles. And then y'all niggas start rolling dice. And I swear to God, if this is in front of them kids and you start shooting dice, y'all start shooting dice. Joy roll, bitch, but the money long is six miles. Break mile, knock your box down. Now we're entering the area where hell. you actually, like, uh, you know, get down by a girl. It's usually more active. It was a rainy day. They usually be out here. What are these shirts he got on? So they outside they tennis a few different combinations of things that had the big <laughs> scared to come outside. Outside, excuse me. It was pouring down rain. Yeah, little, little drills, little drills on like the wheels. Like his voice is switched. How many girls could be out here in one night? What did he say? Pouring down rain. Yeah, little, little drills, little drills on the wheels. How many girls could be little out here in one night? Little drills on the wheels. At least twenty girls out here every night. Twenty to fifty girls out here every night. Twenty to fifty. You play with that game? What he go here? Everything I speak on, every nigga I speak with, we Googleable gangsters. Googleable gangsters. First and Googleable gangsters. Ha ha. They got a swag as hell over here in Houston. Lunch break. This is considered to be the blade. And it's not the movie with the motherfucker vampire, the daywalker. This is <laughs> for the night stalkers and the street crawlers. The big ballers. Night has come <laughs> upon us. And we're gonna I see like what, this uh, nigga, this man. This is uh, notorious for. I wrote the window down. If he had his own show or like a YouTube channel, I'm watching that shit. All I want to know from you, baby. Since, wait, what did it say? What's your name, first and foremost? Censored to comply with the YouTube guidelines. Extended uncensored cut on Patreon. Now, All I want to know from you, baby. And why are you out here on bitching it? If you don't mind me asking. Oh, I'm out here because I got a house. I pay rent, car note, insurance. They took four pimps to jail last night. Four pimps went to jail last night? And they night? all got damn balls. So <laughs> all the peas and all the players. Like a real pimp. Going to jail. Not a hell on his head. Right they giving niggas life. God bless. They really, really sent us niggas. Fuck. Niggas getting life for pimping, for sure. Yeah, that's, Several that's, niggas. That's human trafficking. As of September 1st, But like, but the girls, like, I get it. I understand what human trafficking is. I get it. I understand. I understand. But if the woman agrees, not only in situations where the woman agrees, only in situations where the woman agrees, is that, would that not be a different, I guess it'd just be prostitution. I guess it would just still just be flat out prostitution. They just wouldn't get the human trafficking charge i don't know i y'all get what Texas i'm trying to say became the only state in america to make soliciting a prostitute a felony punishable oh. by up to two years in jail well, there's how my many answer men you know have already got there's my answer football number of life two. how many prostitutes you know catching cases back they say a, fo a football number by up to two what years is a football jail? number how many men you know have already got sentenced to a football number of life two. how many prostitutes you know catching cases back to back i just got out of jail uh, you got her right talking right away. Come on, man. It's just, it's energy, she just got man. out and she's right back out there. Speak and say something that's been on her mind. Fuck. For who knows how long. It's the Buckingham show in particular that brought it out of her. Ooh, just to fix, the, the fix the, the, fix the, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> fix the pop, the pop field on the mic, please. It's crooked. Oh, I was clicking it. It's crooking it. Guess what? They never crack is. All these women out here be beautiful, bro. And that's no cap on it. People have like a stereotype of prostitutes as like crackheads and Well, maybe, I agree. But let's be real. Bissonette. Yeah, it's beautiful women out there. Well, pull in, pull in, pull in, pull in. Excuse me, though. How you doing, beautiful? Come in, though, because I like that walk, man. I ain't finna play. Excuse Ooh. me, though. Come talk to me, though. Tell a friend let me sneeze on her. Turn that way. She's chilling. Yeah, she twirling. Her, she her whole ass is out right now. He zoomed in. Huh? Lollipop with her, her whole ass out. <laughs> I like the way you said that. <laughs> With a whole ass, I just walked down the street on me, but something on lollipop. You know what's so crazy, brother? No cap, she was showing. That's they way of showing out. When they walk straight past and get fly, that's their. It's called twirling. She twirling like she just. She uh, actually, I'm a bad. That's how she. I could. We, if we. If I. What's up? Come grab this money though. <laughs> she gonna walk. She said her ass out here. She ain't hard to get. She's gotta act like that because she trying to. Eliminate mm. all the bullshit. Mm. Your face got so serious when you said that. Hey, but come get this money though. Like your face. <laughs> I'm oh, serious. Oh yeah, then that, then she'll come out with me. But guess what? I don't got nothing to give her. <laughs> yeah, my name Natural did. I don't pay for the punani. Never? Listen, I might buy some panini, but I will never give you the fettuccine. Okay. This nigga is hell. That's a fucking good thing. Man, this shit right here. <laughs> He said, "Apps are fucking literally." I love this nigga, man. Okay. Okay. Apps are fucking good. Man, this street right here, you see, <laughs> I mean, five or six girls on this one street. This nigga is cool as they, shit. I mean, but they still here. <laughs> I swear, they still here. The only thing they do is they play it a little more smart. Like her, she's probably about to go into the restaurant 
Like they just duck off. Like they come out like I want to. I kind of want to see this, she but I feel like it's gonna be she sad. She has no britches on. She has no. She has no pants on. No. Say, check it out, baby. My love, my love. You must don't want a dollar for a holler. Trust me, I don't want these shorties. I'm trying to get them to speak their life. I'm trying to get them to speak their life. Honestly, some. Let me just get you out of the game. In all reality, if a pimp sends a prostitute out the house, majority of them tell the woman, "Do not stop or talk to no young." Men, especially young black men. Young black men don't buy pussy. So if I mm. was an Asian man, I've heard this. Man, we watched that other video. Remember when Tommy G did it? They said the same thing. They don't go for like younger black guys. They go for like older white dudes usually. White like, man, they will stop. It's racism amongst prostitution. Trust and believe. It's not that they saying, "Oh, we not gonna stop because he black." Cause They're just smart enough to know that it's no reason a young black man will buy pussy. Why don't they buy pussy? Cause they'll just rather take you to fucking Benihana. We know how to <laughs> spend money and get what we want instead of just give you money. Whereas a lot of working men don't have time and they have wives at home. Majority of the young black dudes coming out here, not me. Majority of them are trying to be <laughs> pimps. They're nothing. not trying to be tricks. Now, see, if I said that, people might be calling me racist. Nah, but you can say it right now. If I said like majority of pimps are black, they could be like, "That's racist." No, he just said majority of pimps are black. They are. I was kind of racist. Let me stop that. <laughs> nah, majority of pimps are black. Majority of fucking tricks are white. And me and my boy B Buck can agree on that solidly. And like, it's the truth, it's, bro. It's you wanna true. It's true though. Define it as. Bias or stereotypical. First of all, we talking about prostitution. It's not that serious. Like you won't take this shit that serious. Um, maybe you should be a <laughs> coochie saving activist. A I coochie like saving you know, activist. Pay a, you pay a prostitute to leave after. That's a player way of looking at life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> While we were filming on Bissonette, a blacked out car with their lights off pulled up next to us, Ooh. and D Flowers told the driver to leave immediately. Pull up! Pull up, sir. Four. Go straight. That ain't that car behind us. So we're essentially dipping away from a possible op. Not a op. A, a dumb op. This nigga got his, had got his blick out. The gun's out, bro. Ready to go. But they want to get shot at. The thing is, once you make two turns with me, you getting shot at. Period. It's just a rule. They could be a pimp. Don't like the fact it's on his wound. And I'm a pop whoever. I hate to say it, but I'm not going to think twice. That's on every dollar. I would rather, if I got to shoot at somebody tonight, love a bit. God, if that's what you need me to do, Lord forbid, to protect me and everybody with me, we go home tonight. And then we ain't got to ask questions. We just shoot at them and proceed with our night. I put it on everything I fucking love. We will literally pop oh at them God. and continue this fucking interview. That doesn't make you nervous, give you anxiety? I put it on my kids. I would rather just get the shit out the way and then proceed with the interview. On that note, I decided <laughs> it was best to wrap up the video and conclude filming for the night. We signing off, man, for the business episode d flowers is the reason we're out here that shit, bro Go i don't know this all shit it'll all be linked in the shout description shout out d flowers yeah, i know y'all dealing with the most natural man check out any music all music i let him get a shout out off i let him get a shout out for me hey 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 watching and we'll catch you next week hey man say man know what the going on man too tired of motherfuckers lock up ain't no more free too tired and lock up ain't dead niggas just went fed free the locs the motherfucking movement y'all got guns what the fuck i shoot nigga hustle grind clear get a check i'll out the trap i'll out for bitch you understand me i don't give a fuck the hoe said pussy whatever she do man as long as you get in the check i salute you by any mean necessary hey bro that video that fire video fire video that was funny it was it was it was interesting but it was also very entertaining that wasn't like i mean i haven't watched a tommy g video in a while his videos have been have been getting really long and we're gonna be here for like an hour and some change i'm not watching them bitches um that's like something on stream but his shit is like really like deep documentary brandon buckingham it's like a documentary but it's like a skim over it right he's not going too deep into it i really like that i like how they talk out there in houston they talk swaggy as hell but i hope y'all enjoyed that video be sure to leave a like and the secret code is sht sht down in the comments if you watch this far it's swaggy houston talk that's the code that's the code confuse the people that don't be watching all the way Confuse the people that don't be watching all the way. I'm st I stream almost every single day around a, around seven o'clock. I'm really trying to stream every single day. Some days I do miss. Some days I do miss. I get busy or I got something going on, bro. And you know, I'm 22. It's a lot on the plate. But I hope you enjoyed. I'm out.